Now if you were happy with your search and wanted to save it, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure you have a Scopus account. I already have one set up, but unless you've personally set yours up, you won't. Accessing the resource is done using your UEA login, but to save searches you would need to create your own account, and that can be done from the profile option in the top right hand corner. Once you have your account, to save your search you have the option to either click the save button which appears underneath the search on the results page, or you can go back to the search pages and from within your search history you will have an option to save each line of your search. So for me, I'm just going to take our most recent search, the one that I'd consider my final search in this example. And if I were to click on the more option at the right end of the line that I wish to save, I again have the save search option. This is exactly the same as if I've clicked the save button underneath the search on the results page. And I'll be prompted to put a name in. I'll just put example, but I'd encourage you to put something quite specific so that if you come back at a later date, you always remember what the search was. And that's it. The search has been saved as confirmed at the top of my screen. Now if I wanted to come back and rerun the search, I would click on my profile and say saved searches. From here, you'll find a few saved searches if like me you've done a few examples. And you have a couple of options. If you wish to rerun the search from the point at which you last run it to the current day, you have the date last run column. To the right of that, you also have the option to edit or to delete the search. But if we click on last date run, the search is rerun. Now, now no results were found because this is simply a display of results that have come up since we last run the search. As we only ran it two minutes ago, clearly nothing else has been indexed. But that's a really useful tool for if you were to come back several months later and just want to see new papers that have been indexed. On the other hand, if you just want to see everything, not simply papers that have come out since your last run of the search, all you would need to do is click on the name of the search. So here, I'll click on example and that then brings me back to the full set of results, so the 396 that we had a few moments ago.